Hey guys, welcome to Gadget First. Today we've got a video of the new uh, release of Android. It, this is version 4.4, .4, and we're looking at it on the Nexus 4. Um, it's been out on the Nexus 5 since launch, so that's a couple of weeks ago. And it's just come to the Nexus 4 in the past day or so, so it's really brand new, and I'm really, really liking it. There's some small and some major changes in this version of Android, but altogether, there's a lot more polish. So let's have a look at Android 4.4. So on the lock screen, there's really not much to see. Um, you've got the same uh, circle to unlock. And the only difference really is you've got a camera icon down here and a Google Now swipe up icon here, which both do the exact same thing as what you did in Jelly Bean, but they're just slightly changed uh, to look at. So unlocking, you can see uh, the most immediate change is probably uh, the transparent uh, bars at the top and bottom. Um, before you had a black bar at the bottom where the soft keys are and a black status bar at the top. Now you are getting a slightly transparent one which uh, in my opinion makes it look quite a bit nicer. It has the effect of making the screen look a little bit uh, bigger which is certainly a plus. So um, you get as many home screens as you want. I haven't actually uh, gone up to see how many you can get, but I assume it's uh, 5 or 8 or 10. Um, so yeah, you slide and you can get widgets uh, by tapping and holding. Um, so this is slightly different. You've got wallpapers, widgets and settings. And you can add home screens by uh, going on a widget and dragging it onto uh, a new home screen, which is quite handy. And you can pick up whole home screens and rearrange them which is definitely a plus because before you would have had to pick up each and, each and every uh, individual widget which would have been a nightmare if you had lots of small uh, fiddly widgets so let's go back onto this home screen now sliding left you immediately see you're on Google now which is another really big change because the way home screens work now is similar to uh, Samsung devices and iPhones. You start from the left and work your way in to the right um, rather than starting in the middle and going left or right. So as you can see you work your way right now and going left brings you straight to Google Now which is really uh, quite a fast way of doing it. I really like it a lot. It's uh, easy to access and works a little bit like um, how Universal Search did on iOS where you scrolled to the left and suddenly you had a search box. So you know it works exactly the same as before you can type in uh, your search query and it will go away and do it. And I'll just slide back up there. Um, Another change that I really like is more of a unified, polished feel on Android. So if we go onto the uh, dialer, it, you can see um, gone is the uh, dull black dialer, and now you've got this light, um, airy looking lighter uh, dialer. Sorry. Um, and it's really handy in the way that it shows your most used contacts at the top. So you can see my use, most used contacts, and so that's really handy. Um, but by far the biggest feature on the new dialer, other than its looks, is the fact that you don't have to even remember numbers anymore or find out numbers manually. Say you want to know the number for a local takeaway, then what all you have to do is um, type in the name of the takeaway. You don't have to Google search this or anything. You just type it in to the dialer and it will find their number and call them. So a local takeaway around my area is Marmaris. So I'll just type in Marmaris. And I've literally just typed it in and it's come up with nearby places Marmaris Kebab House, which if I just tap that, you see I'm calling them now and I have their number. But I'm going to cancel that before they answer and take my order and my money. So that is a really, really awesome feature of the new dialer that I like a lot. Um, 
Another notable change on uh, aesthetics wise is the new um, app launcher or app drawer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you don't get quite as many apps on the app drawer anymore but it certainly looks a lot nicer. You've got this transparency um, where you can see your wallpaper behind and you don't have the big bars at the top for apps and widgets. It's all just apps now, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, like it a lot. Now, one of the biggest features for um, Android 4.4 when it released on the Nexus 5 was the fact that you could use uh, a hot phrase which was, OK Google and it would open um, a Google search wherever you were and just start listening to you and doing what you ask. Um, unfortunately, um, that is still uh, exclusive to the Nexus 5 um, because it has an extra core in its processor which deals with just voice, which the uh, poor Nexus 4 here doesn't. Um, so yeah, you can see, OK Google Now does nothing um, because that would waste far too much battery on a phone that doesn't have a core dedicated to voice. But a feature that I'm really glad to say is uh, on the Nexus 4 and all Nexus devices with uh, Android 4.4 is immersion mode. Now there's been a problem um, with full screen apps in the fact that you can't get to your notifications without going home or exiting out of them. Uh, that's not the case anymore. You see here I've opened up Snapchat, um, which on the camera part of it is a full screen app. Now before, if you slide, uh, tried sliding down from the top, you know, it wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't see your notifications or anything. Now you slide down and it reveals a time and date first and some uh, key uh, status symbols. And then you drag down again and there you get it. All, you've, all of your um, notifications, if you have any, and you can get to the settings as well, which is really, really handy. I have to say, this is probably one of my favourite features because now, if you're uh, playing a game or in a uh, video or other full screen app, you don't have to worry about exiting out or going home to get to um, all your notifications or settings. It's worth noting an extra little um, aesthetic consideration that uh, Google implemented. Um, you see the fonts under uh, the folders, the little labels. Um, the font is ever so slightly taller now, um, which makes it look a little bit more sleek. I quite like it. Uh, this is a system-wide font, and it certainly makes the phone look more modern. Now, Google are really well known for uh, screwing up the YouTube comment system um, uh, quite recently. Um, this is because they've been trying to incorporate Google Plus into more of their products because, you know, it, it uh, does work with logic. Um, you know, they have millions and millions of users, active users at that on YouTube, and, you know, not many users who are active on Google Plus at all, really. So to uh, funnel more people through onto their own Google Plus social network, you know, why not use a service that has lots of uh, active subscribers and users? Unfortunately for Google, it hasn't worked out that way for their um, YouTube. However, it has worked out quite well on Android with the new Hangouts app. Uh, the Hangouts app now uh, substitutes your uh, messaging app. It's now your default messaging app, which is really cool. Um, you can see it's a lot more... Um, modern looking than the old dark dingy looking messaging app. You can, you can slide away uh, text messages like this and also of course it's not just the text messages you can do hangouts hence why it's a hangout. Um, so all of your friends that have a Google Plus account uh, will automatically be in this uh, hangouts list and you can video call them, you can uh, chat to them on Google Messenger um, and if you want you can SMS them. So this is how um, text messages are dealt with in Google now. Um, obviously it might confuse a couple people 
a few people if um, you have multiple contacts for different things such as um, for Annie here I have an SMS contact for phone numbers and I also have a Google Plus contact and I immediately started writing a text message uh, only to realize that I was actually writing a Google Plus message so you know it can be a little confusing but it does have a quite clear SMS label on their profile picture so it's quite easy to get the hang of and it's certainly a lot more modern looking than uh, the old messaging app. Another feature that Google is touting quite heavily with uh, the 4.4 update is printing. You no longer need uh, a built-in, uh, sorry, a third-party app to uh, get some printing done on your phone. You just go into settings and if you go down on to printing here, you can see cloud print and HP print service plugin. Uh, cloud print is what you use um, if you have a printer connected to a computer that um, is sharing its printer via cloud print and HP, if you have an HP printer this is probably the best option uh, we do and you see there is our printer it's e as easy as that and um, there's nothing really you can do here but um, if you're in an app for instance uh, quick office which I believe is built in no oh yes it's, yeah. so here's quick office which is now built in um, um, there we go and now you'll be able to print straight from the app so if you go onto the menu button you can see there's a print option oh god this is hard <laughs> and it asks me how I want to print it and so I've got all these different devices which are technically cloud printers but obviously my actual printer is this HP premium one so if I clicked OK then it would print although as you can see there it's just stopped working don't understand why um, this is a end release don't know why that happened but um, maybe it won't happen again now there are literally tons of other features, um, you can find a really long list of them uh, on Android's website, uh, but I've gone through the biggest ones, there's just a few others now. Um, one of my favourites is the new email app. It's now made um, under the exact same uh, design as uh, the Gmail app, which is really good, which means you can uh, slide away emails to delete them. Uh, which you can obviously undo as well and you now slide in from here to get uh, your folders so it's all made to look a little bit more uh, like the Gmail app which is certainly not a bad thing now finally the last feature that I'm really excited about is tap to pay you go into settings Uh, here it is. Um, this is an NFC uh, paying uh, facility, which basically, you know, if you know what NFC is, you know what uh, this is basically. You tap your phone against a kiosk at a shop or something, and then it's done. Uh, your shopping's paid for, and you can just walk straight out with your um, with the, with your goods. Um, it's a really good um, method of payment, you know, you're not going to lose your phone uh, more than you're going to lose your cards or actual money, so it's a really big step forward. Um, unfortunately, you know, um, not many people use this at the moment, not many shops have adopted it, but I'm sure over time um, NFC will prove to be uh, a viable form of payment. And I certainly hope it does because it's definitely one of the best ways of um, payment because you just don't have to remember anything. You just tap your phone against it and it's done. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more um, features to go through. I mean, I've got a list here. There's so many um, really cool looking features. You've got infrared blasting, so your phone could potentially be a remote control, uh, a universal remote for your TV, uh, coffee maker, anything. Um, and there's certain ones which are um, limited to the Nexus 5 for now. But there's so many good features. I mean, if you go to android.com slash version slash KitKat 4.4, um, it's there's a whole list of the cool features that are going on in Android 4.4 definitely worth the update if you've got a Nexus phone uh, unfortunately you won't be getting this if you're on the Galaxy Nexus at least not officially um, but the Nexus 4 and obviously the Nexus 5 will be getting it straight away um, but obviously if your phone isn't supported straight away you can go to XDA developers and just look for a custom ROM on there you're bound to find loads. I mean, Cyanogen Mod, Paranoid, Android, they, they're all going to um, have Android 4.4 built out fairly shortly, I'm sure. So there's no loss of hope if you if your phone doesn't support it uh, straight away. Um, so yeah, really, really well worth the update. Uh, make sure you get it if you can.